yeah, I think this was Imani's night, senior night or senior day or whatever it's called. Um, and, and she, to have her career high, I mean, that's kind of neat. Um, part of her story that's going to be neat for her to tell her kids and grandkids. Um, you know, I thought TSU took us out of a lot of things we wanted to do. Now, the fact that we still scored 83 points and held them to 60 is pretty impressive. Um, but I, but I didn't like, I didn't like, I didn't like the way that we executed and focused on what we're doing, and that's just not good heading into the heading into the OVC tournament. Well, a little, except that there was four chances to do that in the third quarter. We didn't take advantage of any of those. And then there was one chance in the fourth to do it, and we didn't take advantage of that. And I think at that point, TSU just kind of wore out. Um, and, uh, and then we were able to push it out a little bit. But, you know, we, we've, we've been able to – these kids have figured out ways to win all year that I've just been shocked at. And, uh, but I, I just – I hope they can grow up a lot between now and uh, next week. Well, Maddie hadn't been playing real well, to be honest with you. And so for her to come out and get 20 and 16 was huge for us. Uh, Chelsea got in foul trouble. Um, you know, Tia Wooten, who did, did a great job. T uh, Tia Wooten is a TSU senior, and we recruited her uh, four or five years ago. And, uh, and she went to TSU, and she's had a great career. Uh, great kid, plays hard, plays hard, big competitor. And uh, and I and I told her that after the after the game that I, I've enjoyed watching her play. Didn't like playing against her. Enjoyed watching her play. She's just a, a great kid, and good person. And uh, and I wanted to tell her that after the ball game. And then uh, so that got her. She got Chelsea kind of in foul trouble. And uh, and Maddie kind of picked it up a notch. I I didn't think Demi showed up early, but I thought she showed up late. Um, I thought Demaya was solid. I thought Sade played a pretty good game. So overall, we had some decent things. It's just it's like we couldn't really string together that run that I really wanted us to do. Uh, going into next week, seeing you miss another Maverick, uh, what do you want to try to put down that accomplishment? Well, I mean, it, you, you want to be playing well, and you want to know what you can count on as you go into it, and you want to kind of have an identity. Um, so – we're not really playing well. We're not really consistent, and we don't know what we can count on. Um, and that's that's not a great recipe as you head into a tournament. Um, but uh, you know, I, maybe these kids will surprise me and and put three games really good back to back to back. Uh, but that's what it's going to take. And that my fear is is that you know, Imani's this. We have one senior. And that's it. She's the only one that's been in multiple years of games. Um, Chelsea played big minutes last year. Maddie played decent minutes last year, but that's it. Uh, so we, we've we've got our work cut out for us next week, and uh, you know th this crazy team could win three games and cut down nets, or we could get beat in the first round and come home. Um, I don't know. We'll do what we can to get them prepared and and see kind of what what they want to do to write it into a story. You know, I think she can. Um, you know, the, she she was part of the t the team that won a regular season championship her first year, and then uh, and then we didn't take care of our business in the tournament, uh, and then she lost in the finals last year in overtime. Um, so she's got the experience and the understanding. Uh, the thing about Amani is though, she doesn't really she's not really going to push that on anybody. Uh, but we're going to put her on her. We're, we're going. Hope she puts us on her back and uh, and she can have a really strong. Uh, I was very excited that we won for Imani. She's done so much for us the past four years, and uh, being able to pull out a win for her is very important, um, especially going into the tournament. I'm not sure where it'll put us, but it was very exciting. Uh, the rim seemed pretty big to me. Um, I was just trying to make up for the past couple games. I didn't 
really help our team out very much, and uh, I knew it was important for us to win tonight, so um, I just did what I could and tried to be aggressive, especially when the game got kind of chippy. Speaking of aggressive, I think you guys as a team have 50 points in the game. What does that say about your team? Uh, well, the coach's game plan tonight was throwing the ball inside, so um, the post players took um, took that to heart, and we definitely tried to post up, but our guards did a very good job of driving to the heart of the paint and finishing over them. Yeah, he had a double-double at halftime. Um, I think it was I think it was 11 boards and I think 12 points and a half, if I'm not mistaken. Just you out, you on the, the rebounding effort today, what does that say that you're able to, to get that amount of rebounds in one half and then finish it with a double-double and turn it up? Well, in the first half, we were struggling on the boards. They got a couple, and um, that was my main job. Last year, coach was like, I'll find a way to play you if you um, can rebound. So that I've always been um, – I took that very important to me. And so tonight when we were struggling, I knew it was my responsibility to go after the boards, uh, especially with Chelsea in foul trouble early. Uh, I had to step up and do my job. And then finally, you guys had a big win on Thursday night, big win today. Basically, we'll treat it like any other uh, week of practice. We're just going to keep working hard and keep our focus and try to be disciplined throughout the next week. But basically, we we got to have a goal set and we got to go after it. Um, well, I haven't cried yet. It just hmm, it feels unreal, but I guess it's just going to hit me after the season. But I'm, ha I'm happy, I'm excited. And I'm just happy I could perform the way I did today in front. The last day, last time of me playing on in the Elam. You've been playing so strong as of late. Seems like the only thing left to write is a OVC tournament championship. Do you feel like you can put your team on your back and, and try to get to that goal? How, how talented is this team and how far can you go? Um, I think we can win the whole thing with the OVC championship. This team, is we backwards, but – we real dangerous. And this team kind of remind me of my freshman year, but the only difference is this year we athletic. We have a lot of different pieces, and we can play a lot of people, which compared to my freshman year, we only played seven, and we were solid. But this year, it's feel like we real dangerous. With 21 wins going into the tournament, uh, you have a lot left to prove, don't you? Yes, sir, a lot. Um, it's just a lot. <laughs> uh, just – how fun was it to have your family here today, uh, play that last game, get a win, and score the way you did? It was great. Well, well, I knew my mom's coming no matter what, and she come to every game, home or away. So as long as she here, I know I'm going to be good. And it's always fun to hear her scream at you a little bit, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, sir, every game, home or away. And if she don't come, I just know after the game I have a lot of text messages. So I just know my, if my mama got my back, then I'm good.